Hey guys, what's up? It's Matchpoint here, and today we're going to be taking a look at anchoring in Rainbow Six Siege. This is going to be an updated guide, so these tips will be more relevant to the current operation. So let's get into it. What operators should you be using to anchor? Ideally, you want to be using Doc and Rook, who are both 3 armor and 1 speed operators. Echo is another great choice, and his Yokai can come in very useful. He is again 3 armor and 1 speed. As well as Mirror, who is a fantastic option, as she has a black mirror, which is her gadget, which is very useful, and is a 3 armor and 1 speed. Now Maestro is a superb option in my opinion. He has cameras that can be used to gain more knowledge on where the enemy are, and he is a 3 armor and 1 speed operator. Castle can be very useful when deploying his armor panels, and he is a more of a lower tier um, anchor and is a 2 speed and 2 armor. So let's get into it. So my first tip for you guys is the preparation phase. If you're going to be an anchor, ideally if you're playing someone like Rook for example, you want to be getting your gadget down straight away and placing down your reinforcements. Now your reinforcements are key to anchoring as you want to be placing them down in certain areas where you might be holding that location down as most of the time you're going to be either in the objective or in one or two rooms away from that objective holding down a different angle. And along with Rook also comes some impact grenades so if you're playing a game mode for example like Bomb you want to be using them to split open the two bomb sites so you can see into them. Now in this clip you'll see an ace um, that is used by using an anchor which is Rook as you can see there, using the preparation phase tip, I get my armor down straight away and I'm going to head over and barricade up the walls and reinforce as well. Now if your bomb sites and objectives aren't reinforced then you're not going to have a good time, let's say that. I know it might sound like common knowledge but most people these days won't bother reinforcing, they'll think they can take on the whole team and there's no need to reinforce. Whereas, if you want to be a successful anchor, you do need to do this. And now, another key tip for anchoring is angles. If you haven't got any angles down, if you don't know how to hold an angle, then I'd recommend you doing that, and you can do that by watching my other video on how to improve your KD. Because if you're not going to be able to hold down an angle, you won't be able to get any kills, you won't be able to anchor properly. And you should ideally have lots of good map knowledge, and map knowledge is very important for angles as you will know where certain spots are that you can get a cheeky spawn peak for example or a nice kill on them and as you can see here I'm holding down a tight angle we just picked up the kill on the dokubi there and again you just gotta make sure you're not showing too much of your body because otherwise you will get shot and you will die now there is a blitz there and we're kinda getting boxed in here the smoke grenade's been chucked in, but I'm not going to rush out for that blitz, there's no need. I'm just going to hold down my position, and we do secure the kill on him. Now if you're anchoring, you want to be holding down a certain bomb site, a certain objective. You want to be making sure that you're checking and rotating from each angle every time. So like there, I took the blitz down and then went and rotated to the side window. And we took the ash down there with that headshot. And again, they've chucked the smoke grenade in, so I'm just going to hold a tight angle here. And check back at this one again just repeating the same process and again I've crouched making sure my body is not shown and your main goal of anchoring is to stop them from coming into the objective and watching every point again the stairs there they might be coming from down there so I'm just gonna hold that angle as well and now if you have very good map knowledge there are on some maps quite a few of the maps lots of um, like breachable walls that you can break into and maybe get a hole that you can shoot through maybe through two or two or three rooms and it can be a great way to get a kill on a, a free kill basically on an attacker if they do come through that way as they'll have no clue where you are considering you've got that uh, breachable wall uh, punched through about three three or two rooms away and then we see the jackal there we're not going to rush out for him, we're just going to hold the angle down, go back on the table there, and that is a very tight angle. We do secure the kill there, 
and there's still someone out there, the Jackal, and we pick up another kill there. Anchoring can be a fantastic way to get kills, as you saw there with that ace, especially if your teammates aren't the greatest, because if they're dropping around you, they might be roaming, and you're just sitting there on the objective, all of the um, attackers are just going to rush in on you, you'll be able to pit them off one by one if you follow these tips, and you make sure you're covering every position where they could be coming in from, like there you just saw, they breached the roof, so I made sure I looked up and we secured the kill on him there. And again here, I'm just making sure my body is behind lots of cover, so they can't find where I am and they can't get an easy shot off on me. The window is open there, I've got to watch that hatch, we're kind of in a sticky situation here, and it is only me holding down the objective. And we do secure another kill, that, kill there on the book. Again, because we were switching from the window back up to the hatch like I'm doing now. And again, we might be able to catch some of someone's feet there through that armour panel. Now, an echo, as you saw there, another anchor has just come back into the objective with me. So it's looking more comfortable, we're in a more comfortable position now, considering it is a 3v1 as well. And notice how I'm not rushing out, my teammate did just try and rush him. But he got killed, yet yeah, me and Echo are just holding the objective down, anchor him, and we're not going to get killed, and we will kill him. Again, look at that angle there, not showing much of my body. We do see him there, but I don't rush out, I make sure I get behind cover, reload. And then we do secure the kill on him, right there. And now, again here... We're going to be anchoring for our team and we are just holding down these two rooms here and we do pick up the kill there on the Sophia but notice how I'm not necessarily sitting on the bomb site. you don't always have to do that you can always be one or two rooms away like I'm doing now and I'm just holding down key entry points where they're coming from which is why map knowledge is such an important aspect of anchoring as you can see here I know lots of them will come up here like the Sophia just did and also another entry point is that window you saw then before where the cap cam was watching. So we're just holding down these two rooms. My teammate did just die. And the enemies have to plant planted the diffuser. But I know I've got time on that so I'm just going to hold this angle down because I did think I heard someone. But it's getting a bit too risky so I'm just going to head back here. And the IQ tries to rush in, kills our teammate but I kill the IQ. And again, I'm not going to rush here. There's no need to go and defuse her. I should ideally take out the capital or hold it down a tight angle on him. And we do secure the kill and we will defuse and win the round. So guys, that's it for this video. I hope you now know how to become a successful anchor. Make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye bye.